guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I wanted to do something that I I really wish I would have seen with both my kids I want to do today's video about gender disappointment which I don't know if you could really say say it that way but what I'm trying to say is like when you get pregnant and I mean the, the second you get pregnant you're expecting a certain gender right either a boy or a girl naturally we draw to one specific gender so that's what I mean when you get when you find out you're pregnant you find out the gender of your baby and it's not the one you wanted or were expecting that's what today's topic is about sorry for the super long intro haven't done a video in a long time so it's kind of hard for me to explain now let's get started sorry if you guys hear the kids in the background Hector's showering them so they might be making noise they might come in here but hopefully that doesn't distract us so first I want to say my experience and then I'll talk about it because I know it does help I mean hopefully someone watches this and like doesn't feel bad when they find out they have a they're having a, a boy and they wanted a girl or they're finding out they're having a girl and they wanted a boy I mean a baby is a blessing regardless and we're still gonna love them but in the beginning when you find out there is a little disappointment let's admit it so with Isaiah now I have to say that when I was younger I always wanted a boy I mean all the time I would like draw pictures in high school of my family I don't ask I would just get really bored and I would draw little pictures so I would draw pictures of my family and my kids and it was always boys I mean I never pictured myself with a daughter so I was just boy crazy I was writing I mean not boy crazy but I was always drawing and thinking that I would have boys because I don't know I just felt like I was like the type of mom that would have boys obviously the universe thinks so too because I have two boys so I always wanted boys I always pictured myself with boys so I get pregnant with Isaiah immediately I'm like oh I hope it's a boy it's a boy right so we wait those boys are obviously more they just run in my family a lot more more boys right so I wanted a boy when I found out I had Isaiah that's naturally what I wanted I was like I want a boy first and I was excited about it so like my symptoms with Isaiah I was always nauseous excuse my hair I'm barely about to start getting ready for work so I was always nauseous with Isaiah I mean all the time I didn't throw up a lot but I was very nauseous I would crave a lot of candy cakes but I mean that's just me naturally I crave that type of stuff so of course you know everyone with their superstitions it's a girl oh, you're having a girl so I was like oh cool it's probably a girl so everyone telling me that made me want a girl naturally so when I found out I said it was a boy I went to the ultrasound place alone and you know they did the ultrasound and she told me do you know the gender and I was like no I don't and she asked if I wanted to and I said yes she told me it was a boy I was happy I was really happy but I was kind of disappointed I was like oh, but they said it was a girl <laughs> you know like everyone else told me it was a girl but how do they know they're not doctors so I was kind of like bummed I got over it real quick though I mean later that day I was just super excited it was my first baby I mean I was excited in general to buy baby clothes to buy baby cribs to you know I was excited so I got over it really quick but I was like oh but I thought it was a girl everybody told me it was a girl but I mean it wasn't so I was a little disappointed but I got over it real quick for two three years later when I get pregnant with Xavier okay sorry the kids got out of the shower so I had to change them so back to my story I mean now with Xavier's birth I already had a boy and naturally I was like well the universe isn't gonna be so mean to me <laughs> if I have a boy I'm gonna get a girl not that it matters I mean I love them no matter what I wouldn't trade them for a girl I mean I would prefer them because they're my kids and I love them 
so much, but I thought for sure Xavier was a girl. Once again, I was extremely sick with him, but this time I was vomiting a lot. I mean, I was having morning sickness every day for the at least three months. I couldn't even keep water down. I was really sick with him. And it begins again. Oh, you're having a girl. It's probably a girl. It's definitely a girl. You're sick all the time. You know. Obviously that doesn't matter and that doesn't mean you're having a girl just because you're always getting morning sickness. In my experience, boys are the ones that make me get morning sickness. So, it wasn't a girl. So, I went to a, a special place to find out the gender because I wasn't going to wait. I really wanted to know because I was so sure it was a girl, you guys. I really was. I was... I'm surprised I actually didn't start buying girl things before I found out. That's how sure I was Xavier was a girl. So we go to the gender place and the first time I went it was just me and my sister. And the guy was like really, sorry to say, kind of stupid. I mean I understand that when a baby's too small it's hard to see but he, and you can't say a gender unless you're sure you know. And he was looking he's like oh I don't see anything so it's. Seems like it might be a girl, but I can't be sure yet. You have to come back in two weeks or whatever. But him saying that really got my hopes up. And I was really like, oh, it's a girl. He said it. I mean, if he can't see anything, it's a girl. Whatever. So I... These whole two weeks that, you know, I was sure it was a girl. For sure it's a girl. I mean, he said it. So I go back and I find out Xavier was a boy. I mean... I was expecting it, but then I wasn't expecting it because he told me it was a girl. I mean, he wasn't sure of it, which is why he made me come back. But still, I was kind of like, oh, he said, but whatever. <laughs> it was a boy. And I was happy, but at that spur of the moment, I was kind of like, oh, but I thought I was a girl. <laughs> oh, well, it doesn't matter anymore. He's a boy. He's here. So I eventually got used to that idea too I was a little more depressed the second time around because I was expecting a girl so I wasn't like you know suicidal I know some women do get really pretty depressed I wasn't like that I was just kind of like oh oh well look at all the cute girl stuff but I'm not gonna have a girl that's how I was kind of I'm over it now. I was over it almost like a month later. Once again, super excited about boy stuff. I started seeing boy clothes, boy toys, and I started getting everything. You know, I thought it was cute. So I got over it pretty fast that time as well. But I know it's hard, and I don't want people to think... I'm making this video so you guys don't think if you feel depressed about a certain gender, you're a bad person bad mom because you're not it's okay to feel that way and it's happened to all of us I mean a lot of people won't admit it a lot of people won't admit the fact the fact that they were kind of like oh, let down by the gender they but it happens to everyone and it's okay because it doesn't mean you're never gonna have that specific gender it just means for the time being you had a girl and it's okay or you, you had boys I am super happy with my boys. I mean, they just bright up my whole day. And they, you know, they're mine. Of course I love them and I wouldn't trade them for any other gender, thinking about it. And if I would have a third child, let's say I have a third child, and I find out it's a boy again, I'm a little more prepared and more content with myself that I wouldn't, I wouldn't get disappointed this time because that's what I'm expecting and honestly guys I do not plan on telling anybody I am pregnant until I know the gender of this third kid I whenever I do have it because the second you tell people you're pregnant the guesses of the gender start and even though that's totally okay they're excited for you but that makes us believe what they're saying is true it makes us believe it there there go we get disappointed when it's not the gender they said even though we shouldn't listen but we do so that's why my third kid i will not be saying anything until i know the gender <laughs> it sounds kind of stupid but 
I just I want to avoid people guessing my the gender and me getting disappointed if it's another boy I'm happy right now and I think it's good if I ever have another kid it's gonna be a boy again and that's okay it's totally okay if my fourth is a boy that's okay too I'm only 24 so I have a whole life ahead of me to have a daughter and if I never do then I'll just adopt one <laughs> that is my mind right now if I don't have a daughter I would like to experience raising a girl you know who doesn't want to raise both genders so for whatever reason I can't have a daughter and I'm like on my fourth boy I will definitely adopt a girl I mean I'm totally open to it why guess and try to have another kid and you know I rather just adopt a girl but I will keep having all the boys I I have the universe sends to me and be totally happy with it because they're mine of course I'm gonna love them and be happy with it I just pretty much want to tell you guys don't be disappointed don't let it get to you be happy with what you have because there's a lot of people that cannot reproduce so that's pretty much why pretty much why I wanted to make this video because I know there's a lot of women that get really depressed and really sad and just like lost because they wanted a specific gender I mean it's really out there I, people might watch this and think I'm totally dumb but gender disappointment is complete it happens a lot of people go through it on a daily basis whether it's the mom or the dad because I know a lot of males a lot of men also feel a little disappointed I mean maybe it's their first kid and they wanted a son and it's a girl and that's okay to feel a little disappointed it doesn't make you a bad parent or anything it doesn't mean you're not gonna love the baby it's just it's hard to explain like I watched I was on Instagram and I saw a meme that totally like it hit to home you know it was kinda like wow that's so true it it was a picture of a woman pregnant and in the back were a bunch of people I guess like I don't know how to, I don't really remember but I just remember that it was kind of like she was pregnant and then she was with her baby and then she was she got postpartum depression and before she had the baby they were telling her oh it's a it's a boy it's a boy it's a boy that's what it said in the meme like you know the little voice things yeah it said it's a boy it's a boy it's a boy and then the baby's born and it's a girl and then they're like oh well I thought it was a boy like that's what it said in little pictures guys it's not a video it's just a whole meme and then in the bottom she's with the baby awake at night and she's depressed you could tell on her face she's depressed and the the whole point of the meme was people are like they tell you they make you think you're having a gender and then you don't have that gender and then they're like oh she got postpartum depression well of course she's gonna get postpartum depression because you know, it's just so overwhelming. People can make a pregnancy so overwhelming for you, which is why you have to block it out. You totally have to block it out and live your own life the way you want. Don't listen to anybody else. That's pretty much how it has, I mean, that point blank. Don't listen to anybody. So let's, hopefully this helps a little bit. I know it doesn't make much sense. I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm trying to hurry because I almost have to start getting ready for work so I'm just trying to rush and do this but I hope you guys understood where I'm coming from a little bit we're doing it together oh. sorry I accidentally pressed play so I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from I hope this helps it's okay to feel gender disappointment you will get over it you will love your baby just because you feel in the beginning oh I'm disappointed I'm gonna be such a horrible mom you're not it happens it's totally okay think of it this way you have a lifetime to have more kids and if you can't adoption could be an option right so I'm so sorry I have to hurry up and finish this but I hope you guys have a great day give this video a thumbs up if you like it I know it's a little all over the place but please share do not be afraid to share my videos Subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye